Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. In this lesson, we will be taking a look at how you can export your project to a video file. So now we have created this small clip where we have edited uh, two shots together and we have added some color correction uh, on top of that. And let's say this is our final um, video. This is what we want to export and show to our friends. Then how do we do that? Um, you want to highlight your composition and that's just done by clicking. So you can see right now there's no blue line around. So just click, there's a blue line. That means it's highlighted. So in order to export this, we need to go up to uh, File and then choose Export and then add to uh, Render Queue. There are also some other options. Um, I will cover those later, but just add to the render queue. And now you will see we jump from this uh, panel over to the render queue panel. And we have the headline that says flowers and horses. And then some different options. So the render settings, they have been set to best settings. So you can see here the quality set to best. Um, if you want to make this your final render, then always have this set to best. This is just for quick um, previews, so just set this to best. Then the resolution, we of course want that to full. You can do some different stuff here, use proxies, all this stuff. This doesn't really matter. Um, you can change the frame rate. I would like to use the composition's frame rate. You can also set it to um, a number that you can just pick, let's say 50, sorry, 50, but well, I don't want that, so I'll just set it to use comp frame rate. So then here in the output modules, if we click on this, then we will see um, some a little bit more familiar settings. You can change the format. This is now set to AVI. AVI is a pretty nice format. Um, it compresses the video uh, quite a lot, but as you can see, you have got a lot of different um, opportunities or uh, like formats to choose from. The one I like the most is QuickTime, and QuickTime is made by Avil, so let's just um, do that. We can say a post render action, that's something it will do when it's rendered. That's all not necessary. All the channels, um, I only want the red, green and blue channel. If you wanted the alpha channel, then you can say, okay, I also want the alpha. And then you'll get, let's call it a PNG video. Um, as you know, PNG images have a transparent background. And then this will give you a video where um, all the black areas or the areas where you don't haven't put anything, they will be uh, transparent. Um, there are also some stuff here for color management. That's all pretty advanced. So the only thing I usually do is just set this to QuickTime and then I just hit OK. Then you want to change the output to, um, this is where you basically choose uh, where you want to save your uh, your video. So just click this and then browse to somewhere on your computer. Let's just save it right here and call it whatever you want and then just hit save. And um, now everything should actually be set up. What you want to do now is just hit render out here to the side. So let's do that. And now you can see this blue bar goes across. And then it when it hits the end, it says bling. There we go. And that means that our footage footage has been rendered. So if we were to go into a file system, then at this position we will see our flowers and horses um, video. We can double click it 
and then just a few seconds later our video will pop up and here it is as you can see um, this small clip which was only let's say let's look this was only nine seconds and this uh, takes up over one gigabyte 1.144 gigabytes of space um, for only nine seconds that is very much and well if we want like an hour of video then that will take up almost like a terabyte of video oh sorry a terabyte of space so you probably want to uh, change that or you want to be able to compress this there's a free program that's called handbrake so handbrake and um, you can just search on uh, Google and then you can get this uh, program it's all free and it works very nicely with this program um, you can just compress this video and now it fills now it takes up 1.1 gigabytes of space I'm sure we can get this to only take off um, around 5 to 10 megabytes so the way you want to use this program is very simple just drag uh, your your video onto the title and then you can see the duration uh, is uh, titled here and then you just want to change your destination so I'll just pick the same folder as this one and then call it flowers and horses and there we go just hit start and then when it's done we can just close the program and then here is your um, what I would call your final video as you can see um, flowers and houses that mp4 and then it's only five megabytes and if we were to open it up then it looks exactly the same um, of course it's not exactly the same because we have lost like how much is it 1.140 uh, gigabytes of space um, so it has been compressed tremendously but as you can see to the uh, untrained eye then there isn't much difference so this is a very nice uh, way of storing your footage I always always just delete um, the, the the footage that takes up a lot of space I'll just delete this and this is my um, this is then my final output and this works very well for maybe publishing on YouTube or where we want. So as you guys know, video is made of, up of a ton of pictures that are just been shown in a row. So as you can see, when we are at the end, we are at frame 223. That means this video consists of 223 images shown in um, just shown uh, one after each other very fast so another way of exporting this could be as what's called a image sequence so if we want to export this as an image sequence we will again go to file export and then add this to our render queue it's the same as the last time then in our uh, the render settings we don't want to change these these are just fine the output module this is where we need to change something in the format we've got some different options and you can see all these that says sequence so you can export a export a Cineon sequence and if sequence JPEG sequence I think a lot of you guys know the JPEG format there's always also OpenEXR uh, sequence, PNG sequence, Photoshop, uh, Radiance, TIFF, Targa, all that stuff. Um, so all the ones that says sequence, um, they will basically just 
uh, export one image. So, and then um, the um, little the little uh, word here in the front uh, determines the um, format. So I would like to just render out a PNG sequence because that doesn't take up too much space and it's pretty nice uh, quality. So I'll select select the PNG sequence and then I will hit OK and then. Uh, I will again find where I want to uh, export this to and then I will just let it do its thing so it takes it makes these uh, these these um, these uh, symbols here and that means that these will be uh, this is where the numbers will be so they will be named 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 2 and then uh, all the frames will be saved this way. So we just hit save and then render. Then as you can see, this takes a bit more time. Um but now it's going through the video and then saving out each frame as a file. Uh if I were to go into my system right here and then just find the folder, then you'll see that After Effects is now printing out all these images. And let's just open up the first one. Huh? There we go. If we were to just go along, then you can see that um, the image is actually moving. And well, that is because it's uh, all the frames from a, a video clip that we have exported out. So now it's it's almost it's a third of the way. Let's just close this and say stop because I don't want it to render at all. Um but as you can see if we were to just wait until the end then it will have um exported all the images. And that's just another way of exporting. Um maybe it's not useful to you, but maybe you like oh I want to render out a image sequence, so this is how it's done. Thank you for watching Ethiopedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.